Last week, which is 50 back to school hacks. Today will be 12 DIY school supply hacks, which means DIYs, which I actually can do because I suck at DIYs, as well as hacks, which means things that make things super easy. DIY hacks together, it's amazing. Hold up, if you guys are part of the family here already, I encourage you guys to join. There's a subscribe button here. If you guys are part of the family, you'll actually be eligible to enter my MacBook Air giveaway. We also have a bonus prizes for 2 million subscribers. Draw on August 21st. So if you want to see what they are, just follow my Instagram, Twitter, and vlog channel, and you'll win the following prizes. It is all down below. I get really excited to give you guys prizes. Today we have another thumbs up challenge. Let's do 80,000 thumbs up because we reached 50,000 pretty quickly last time. So let's try 80, you know, we can do it. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Let's go. Why use everyday boring highlighters when in just a few seconds you can turn your highlighter into a rainbow or a super pretty ombre watercolor? To make the rainbow highlighter, take a blue and yellow and pink highlighter, take the pink and color one corner, then take the blue and color the other corner, leaving a bit of yellow in the middle. The blue will run into the yellow, create green, the pink will run into the yellow and create orange, and it'll just blend and yeah, it'll make a pretty rainbow. And to make the ombre version, I'm taking the pink and blue highlighter, using the blue to color the pink highlighter. The trick is to always color the lighter highlighter color. At this point, you may just get like a two-tone highlighter. And then all you need to do is either dip your highlighter into some water really quickly or run it through the tap super quickly and then dab off the water with a tissue. And this will make it look like a watercolor and much lighter than it normally is. Or you can just draw vertically up and down until the color mix together. You can also use this water trick to make any of your highlighters that are too dark, a little bit lighter, more pastel looking as well. Now you have a beautiful ombre watercolor highlighter that is so pretty. It'll make you want to study for exams just so you can highlight your notes. And this DIY literally took me five seconds, so you guys should definitely give this one a go. <laughs> You can personalize your pencils and pens super easily so that no one will steal them from you. For the pencils, grab some washi tape and then line it up with the top, pull it all the way down to the bottom and cut it to length and then just give it a bit of a roll to stick it down along your pencil. You might have to do this on either side if the washi tape doesn't reach all the way around the pencil. This works the best with completely round pencils. That's pretty much it and these actually sharpen out really well and you'll never mistake your pencils for other people's pencils again. <laughs> You can always buy colorful pens, but if you have some old boring ballpoint pens at home and you want to jazz them up a bit, you can use this DIY to do that and save yourself some money. First of all, put two tablespoons of water in a bowl and then one tablespoon of glue. You can use PVA glue or Elmer's glue for this. Simply stir it up until you get this milky white formula. Now you want to dismantle your pen and it's actually really easy with these type of pens. You simply just pull the nib and it comes right out. Then all you'll need to do is put the liquid glue and then tip it into your pen. Make Make sure there's like a bowl underneath because it will come out the other side. But this will make sure you have a nice glue coating in the inside of your pen. Now grab your glitter and mix it up until you have your perfect color. I decided to mix up everything, see what it looked like. And then funnel this into the tube before the glue dries. And then it'll just stick to the edges of the tube and make this beautiful glitter pattern. Once it's dry, just put the nib back on carefully. Make sure not to scratch the edges while you put it in. So just drop it in super gently. and now you are done and now you have these beautiful glittery pens that any unicorn would want to steal from you my favorite is this pink purpley color it's holographic goodness it is so pretty have you ever 
wondered what it's like to write with a quill, you know, like the olden days, well, I'm gonna show you this great DIY so you can create your very own. All you need is some large feathers from the craft store. Design and paint your feather, and you can totally get creative with it. I got some neon paint and some metallic paint and just went nuts. Grab your pen and unscrew it, and then just pull out one of those color pen tubes in any color you want. Measure it up and cut off any excess tubey. Now grab scissors and cut off the tip to reveal the open tube and all you need to do now is to put it together and push it into the feather stem. It is actually that easy. I found that most large feathers actually fit perfectly with the pen tubes like a snug sock. So I made so many of these and got super obsessed with how pretty they were. I like it all. Who needs silver staples in your life because they can be so boring? You can make your own colored staples in just a few minutes. Just grab your favorite Sharpie color and just color the top of them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can make so many different colors super quickly and it's just way more fun to staple things with, with colored staples for some reason. Now I'm gonna go find something to staple. You can make these super cute USB holders from erasers. If you're always losing your USBs or mistaking it for other people's, this is a perfect way because it's like a two-in-one. And all you need to do is find a cute eraser that will fit the end of your USB in, and then use an X-Acto knife and some small scissors and dig out a hole that will fit your USB. And just keep it digging. This may take a little while, but trust me, it's worth it in the end until you get the exact depth and width that you need. If it's a bit bigger than normal and your USB keeps slipping, you can use hot glue to glue your USB, but otherwise it usually just won't budge if it's the right size. And then you just stick it in and you get this super cute USB eraser. And I actually created one with an actual eraser shape and made the top the lid so that it hid my USB perfectly. You will totally just think it's a razor, but bam, it's a USB. That's so cool, right? If you have one of these sharpeners that don't have anything to catch the shavings with, you can actually make a DIY sharpener catcher with an old Tic Tac container or even your very own cute Starbucks one if you want a fun DIY project. The Tic Tac one is actually super easy to make. Just hot glue your sharpener horizontally into the opening of the Tic Tac container and that's pretty much it. You can even open it up and throw out the shavings. You even have like a little lid to keep the top closed. You can decorate it if you want as well and it is just so cute. For the Starbucks sharpener, simply find a small condiments container with a lid and paint the inside with white acrylic paint or nail polish. Let it dry, it needs about two coats, and then cut a hole in the lid so that your pencils can fit in. You can use your sharpener as a guide, and then cut it out with some scissors. Mold some air dry clay so that it fills up the empty space between the sharpener and the bottom of the container and create a pocket shape for the sharpener to sit in by pushing it down. This is so that the sharpener doesn't move around. Then hot glue the air dry clay to the bottom of the sharpener container and then the sharpener to the lid. Print a Starbucks label from the printer and just cut it out. Use some clear tape and tape it over and that's it. And the cutest thing was when I put my washi tape pencil in it, it actually looks like a proper straw for the Starbucks container and it just looks so cute. Paperclips aren't anything special, right? Wrong. You can make your normal paperclip 10 times cuter in like 2 seconds. All you need to do is take a regular paperclip, bend it upwards towards the open end of the clip and that's it. It looks like a complete mess now, but when you actually clip it on, it's a cute little heart. I don't know why I've never done this before because it's so easy and I'll definitely be using these with all future paperclips because it's just way more fun. I'm always losing small objects like hair ties, bobby pins, elastic bands, yeah, and paperclips. Now, I can't help you with the first three things with this hack, but I have one that will save your paper clips from going missing. All you need to do is find any old fridge magnet, a pencil tin, and hot glue. All you want to do is cut the fridge magnet to size and then hot glue it onto the side of your pencil tin. You now have a magnetic paper clip holder, and so there will always be a paper clip for you ready when you need one. Yes, I be a woman. Yes, I be a baby. Create your own custom pattern folder dividers that are also super practical. Simply just use washi tape and cut it to size, fold the sides across and then the top over, and that's pretty much it. It is so simple. Just use alternating patterns for all your tabs and it will look so cute. Now you can write whatever you want on it, and this is the 
pretty amazing hack. You want to change what it says, simply just peel the tape off and you'll have a brand new set of dividers ready to go. So say yes to reusing dividers and saving some money. I love this hack because it turns your binder into a super organizer. Just get a piece of cardboard the size of your divider or cut one to size. I chose black because it really makes the sticky notes pop. Mark out and punch holes on the side so it fits perfectly into your folder. Now lay out your sticky notes until you get a pattern that you like and then hot glue them onto the cardboard. Once you put it into your folder, you'll always have a set of stickies to remind you to do things. This is a lifesaver for me because I never actually remember anything so I really gotta write it down and stick it somewhere. I'm just gonna forget and that's not good when you have things due wanna keep you here so while swimming this DIY, something so cute happened. I was feeding my kitties treats and they went nuts for it. And when Mia gets really excited about food, she stands up like a little meerkat. And Mickey just wants to give me high fives. It is adorable. I just had to share this with you guys. This DIY is so cool because it turns your folder into a chalkboard or pretty much anything else into a chalkboard. And all you need is chalkboard paint and a paint roller. An optional use of the paint roller is literally to roll your cat because Mia just loved this and she purred so much. So maybe this is like a cat massage device. Tape any sections you want to keep clean. Get some chalkboard paint onto the roller and then roll away. Did you know you can get chalkboard paint in a bunch of different colors? Like I had a hard time choosing because there was blues, greens, purples. I ended up choosing this rose pink because I thought it was so beautiful. I used about two coats before I got the finish I wanted. And once it's dry, you can decorate away. I found these amazing neon liquid chalk pens as well, which made it more fun decorating. And that means you can change the design on your folder anytime you like. And when you're sick of it, just get a damp tissue or cloth and wipe it away. You can also use this as a to-do list as well but if you don't want to keep your to-do list on the front of your folder you can even chalkboard paint one of your folder dividers and keep your to-do list there and that way you can just like wipe it off when you're done and you're always reminded about what's due in the upcoming week so i hope you guys try it as well how cool were these hacks guys if you guys do any just tag me because i want to go and comment it'll be there stalking you guys and you know what we're not going to see each other for a whole entire week unless you follow my vlog channel or my socials i'll miss your beautiful faces until next week Bye. Love you.